Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I guess let's start fresh with another video and let's just go from here. Hey Shaq, we just got the fold. Uh, we played a couple of hands just beforehand, but I stuffed up the screen, so I'll be honest there. But we um, didn't lose any big hands, so that's fine. So what you see is what we've lost so far is bets. Into, and I did accidentally go into a heads up and we gained about 300 or 400 chips, which is nice, but uh, I didn't want to really play a heads up. Heads up, you got to play very aggressive, which pretty much any pitch is pretty good at this stage. So, uh, King Jack, out of position, um, there was two limps there. Um, we're going to check this one. Just the fact that we've got so many, fo uh, so many people that are looking to uh, be in the hand. So we want to get more folds, but uh, we're just going to limp and give up on the hand. King five, this would be a good chance to re-raise, but under the gun, um, he's going to have a lot of aces and kings in his hand. Going to be three betting there, and it definitely not no fold equity there, because his range could definitely destroy us. And we don't have positions, the main key factor there. You mean, if, if you've got position and you've got two clubs, then we could actually dictate how much is going to go into the ball, like into the pot. Uh, he checks, he just calls. Queen 10, got to fold, it's pretty tight. Right, fold through six. All right, we're going to open up a little bit here. A3 suited. Haven't been doing that the last video. We will play A3 suited. A lot of people in the pot. This is where we want clubs. We've got... Yeah, for, oh, actually we want spades, sorry. We want spades or a four or something like that. We want to try and get low in the... Uh, we get our spade and we need a queen. So we can actually probably... We're going to bet this and hopefully... We could be jamming a lot of uh, rivers and getting full value for the hand. Um, there is a risk though we could lose. Uh, he re raises and forces us out. Um, we're going to fold this. There's a lot of um, scary stuff on the board here. All right, so we missed the board. Didn't get any folds. Total failed that hand. But you mean if we end up getting the spade, we would have jammed. Um, he probably had a full set there. So, against so many players, he had something there. Small blinds. Just, and we, we could have waited until possibly everyone folded. Um, we're going to fold out of this. We're actually in position, but A7 suited. I don't really feel like playing it. Once we get a little bit more capable, a little bit more confident, we can definitely look at playing those type of hands. Oh, I just don't feel like losing chips right at the moment. Um, out of position again. But we can just check behind. We could raise here. I'll we'll just check. We're out of position. We're just going to check. We're going to play this pretty uh, passively, the King Queen. Queens are definitely going to bet here. Um, there is two spades on the board here, so and there's also flush uh, straight chances as well. So we're going to bet, bet the queen just because we can't afford to play slow. Um, we're going to re raise quite sharply with pocket queens. All right, we're going to check this. Hopefully, it goes through and win that. It was a spot where if we bet, we're going to get re raised off the hand. Heads up, 9, 8, 10 is not that bad. Um, we could probably re-raise here. This does hit a lot of his range though. Um, we could probably, we could go check here, actually. Quite a scary, well actually I clicked the fold. <laughs> uh, let's just forget at that hand. But he, there's a lot of chances that uh, he could have actually had a better hand there, but. I misclicked the fold button. Could have been a good fold though. Alright, we're gonna bet there, half pop. 
And a lot of flushes coming in, straight flushes. Oh, not through. So there's a lot of flushes there possibly coming up. All right, so we'll check call. Knowing that he could have had a lot of, um, he could have been blushing instead of flushing. Uh, King seven, we could probably, no, we're gonna fold there. But we're in position, but no. And out of position, king two, fold. That's it. Uh, now I wanted, I wish I knew how put that pocket queen's hand would have went. Uh, we did have a lot of turn cards coming our way. We're gonna rest there three. Gun with aces. Um, we had a lot of good turn cards, even though the ball was scary. So, all right, we're gonna bet this. Don't have a spade, so we need to try and win it by the turn. Also, a lot of scary cards coming. Um, we're gonna bet this as well. We could easily be behind, but we need to charge any spades on the board. We need to defend the hand. We are betting for value here. Okay, so there's a king. We're going to check all, I believe, this one. Hits the river. Um, we made him char we charge. We charged him to get there. And he, I think he had the spade as well, which means that we were rightfully so. Um, we actually charged the right spots. And yeah, we just induced the bluff, as, um, put bluffing in their range as well. So for aces, we actually play that quite well. We're quite happy with that. Ace queen, we're going to call in position. We could re raise. Um, this bit of a monkey, it looks like. I'm gonna, let's see. Okay, we've got position. We get top pair. Could have second best hand here. Um, he's got a bet. We're just probably going to call this. A lot of his range is going to continuation bet here. We're going to call. Um, if he's missed, he's just going to check and we'll bet and he'll fold. Um, so we're going to bet here and see how we go from there. All right, we can check, check and win the hand. Not many other hands are going to, yeah, so we, we got value out of the turn. That was nice. Um, we can re-raise here. Um, usually you want to, the higher the better when you're out of position, make people charge. Same guy again, we're going to call in position. Top pair, that's nice. We're gonna bet. Hopefully, it folds and just win a nice. Um, actually, we can check out of this. We've got an open ender though. Three card on the river. We get the straight. And um, we're gonna call for ace jack. Continue the bet on the river. If he has a king, we're just gonna drop. I think we're folding here. It's not a great hand. We've missed everything. If we had two diamonds, I'd probably call, but I probably misplayed that hand slightly because I was too overwhelmed by the other hand, just worrying about the monkey guy. Three is pretty busy. We can just uh, set mine with sevens. Check that we're not worried about too much here. We just uh, it's an easy hand to play. We're just gonna hold if it um, bets into us, unless it's really cheap. All right, definitely people are just unfort like they're just upset that they didn't get the value for their hand. Uh, King and Queen shoving there, pretty tragic, really. He's only going to get called by better hands there. That, and that's definitely what you don't want to do. Um, we're going to bet here with pocket fours. Quite aggressive pre-flop. But we got position. Um, now we can re-raise here and represent stronger pockets than him. Um, 10 could be a brick here, so we can actually go in and represent... Alright, we can fold out of this. Unfortunate.
Don't know if he could find the... He could have actually had Ace-King and missed everything. That was in his range as well. Um, let's pre-bet King-Queen there. We're out of position. This is a terrible call. He short stacked though. Let's hold. Let's check. Uh, let's just force him out the hand. We got very lucky there. We'll second best. Sometimes poker needs luck. That was not a great shove. Flushes, flushes are there, no straights though. In the hand pocket aces, nice. Let's open up with uh, King Queen. Okay, some are already limped in. We buy the button anyway. Let's open up with Jack 10. Um, actually, I'm gonna fold this. Let's see how it plays out. I fold the Jack 10. Ten suited, it's cool. Uh, let's uh, bet in. Don't have position here, gotta be a bit careful, but what a fun hand to play, but not out of position. Really, that no heart. That's check fold a lot of these hands, and that's what happens when you're out of position. Well, that's the reason why you don't position. Um, this hand, a lot of hands like pockets, pocket fours, pocket sevens, pocket eights. Um, are going to be in a tough spot if they don't have a king or queen. So we're going to try and push. And get position, uh, use position against him if he calls. Might even jam here. I don't know what he's gonna do. That, that was that was the opposite way around, but we actually had position on our opponent. I'm um, probably had pocket pairs, and it was just hard for him to keep playing. And then if we play it the same way because we actually had set, um, it makes us even harder to read. So I've had people actually stare down at me on a live table, trying to work out whether or not I had a bluff or not. And usually it's one way, they usually get around the wrong way, which I'm happy with. Um, we're opening up the position on the dealer button. It's going to play the position, so hopefully it just folds and win the hand. 10 and 5-2 is pretty much a dry board. Okay, we can bet here because we're trying to get a three as well. It's, it's like a semi bluff. King is a scare card, so this is another spot where we could bet and represent. Oh, the queen's all the way, damn. He was never folding. So if we got the three, we could have re-raised. Oh, he was never raising anyway, so he got what he did. Pocket King's out of position. Gonna raise this though. Probably could raise it to 500. Don't know how many callers. I don't know if he's gonna call Boston. Well, he's gonna call that. Closing the position down. Like he's closing the hand, the action. Well, he's gonna No. All right. So it's just two heads up with a pair. That's that's perfectly fine. Have a pair at that. Um, clubs are up, but we've got club as well, so we can bet into this. We can still make the best hand. Uh, we've got a pair on this board. It's not great. I'm gonna call. See if we can tr get trips. Fold a seven there out of position from a small blind. Um, I'm gonna fold. We don't have a club. 
really no point trying to fight a losing battle. Um, we're going to call behind. We got fades. Like it's not off suit. It's not off suit, so we can actually call this. Um, if we get spades on the board, we can definitely get nutty chance and get full value for the hand. Unless this happens, and then we just fold out the hand. So. We'll see the value, uh, see how much we lost or you know, how much we saved. Got a feeling there could be, there's got to be decent, there's got to be at least pockets that we don't have. Now, even pocket twos at this stage was better than us. We definitely dodged the bullet there. Pocket eights in position. Nice. Uh, two fold. Um, some people might have. Um, Probably wondering why I did fold Ace Queen suited. It, it isn't an easy fold, but we've we, you've got someone already jamming, you know, re-raising and then calling the jam. It, it's definitely Ace Queen's just not good. You got to be up against pockets as well. And it's pretty hard to actually make a pocket pair. Um, now we're on the button after it limpers. We can raise here with Ace Queen. It looks a bit stronger this, in this hand. Um, he's out of position. He keeps throwing stuff at him. Maybe these guys have got history, so. This guy might be on tilt. So it keeps throwing. That's what I was gonna thinking of off screen. Was these guys that throw the emotes, um the emojis and all that. These guys definitely got history. Um it, either that or he's trying to entice. So there's two things there. He's either trying to entice a call. Or, um, these guys have got a history. I'm going to fold, just watch out how it goes. So we would have lost the hand. There was clubs on the board, so. It's a tight fold. He had pocket seven, so that was a bit rich for him. Got an easier name to remember. Pocket okay, aces, we're gonna raise. We're out of position. Could probably raise a bit higher. And um, we can fold here. But we do have position, but we can't really make straights here. This hand is very hard. Um, with this one, we're going to half bet this one, try and get some value. Then any queens. Sometimes the queens on the board. Sometimes with a dry board, you could actually check that. And um, we're gonna bet here. The ace should be good in position as well. Be an easy hand to win. Uh, we could bet most of our range here. The ace comes up, which is quite scary. We have to bet though because there's clubs and straight draws. Um, ace was definitely in our range. Sometimes a weaker ace, um, a stronger ace than us, but not a str uh, strong ace, might have folded there as well. Because there's a lot of, um, you know, as soon as you see king, queen, and ace on the board, uh, it's very easy for people to have two pairs. So if you're the one making the bet, there is a huge chance that they can find the fold button there. So a little bit of fold equity. Seven, not good. King seven out of position. We're gonna fold this. We do close the action, so we probably could have called that. But out of position, we want to try and keep this on. I mean, it's not real money, but at the same time, we want to try and, you know, I don't like playing losing poker. It doesn't matter what level, I treat it exactly the same. If even if I was playing cash, I would probably play pretty similar. It's just that the opponents are. Still Better. Um, I'm probably folding this. There's no point calling. Could be, um, could be just a coin flip though. Against like Ace King, because usually Aces or Kings they want to bet um, a bit lower. They want people to call into the hand. So we could have been good there with the call. Worst case scenario would have been if we had a higher pocket pair.
But his stack was quite high. It might be he's on a bit of a winning streak as well. Don't worry too much about the pocket fours though. We've got our better spots than that. Win the hand. Okay, got a gut shot. About the board pairs, which means we can be running into a lot of bad hands. Okay, so we're going to bet this. We don't want the flush to come out. We could have a second best hand here though. Be a little bit careful. Um, we're just going to bet and hopefully you can just get him to. A flush draw possibly here. Straight flush. So we had probably the worst hand there, but we actually had a lot of fold equity. Uh, even if he called, we could make the best. So that's really a nice spot to actually get. So yeah, that's one of the better spots to be in, especially in position as well. There was a lot of things you could actually take out of that. Three, two, seven twos. Seven two is considered the worst hand in poker, but it's one of those hands where if you did play it, no one would probably put you on it. So you could actually uh, maybe fool someone if you know a pair of dudes seven come out on the board, but probably not worth it. But probably just for the memes. Queen Jack under the gun, we fold. And we're going to check this because we're well behind a scary board. I'm just going to fold here. Um, we're well behind already, so a lot of straight possibilities coming out. We're definitely not going to be winning the next hand unless we get like runner runner, but the chances of that is terrible. Here's a different story. We've got back uh, flush draws, straight draws. Um, as you can see now, we've got an open ender, but there is a flush out there. They're only checking. Oh, wow. So we hit the straight. Let's bet we can try and get rid of this. I don't know. Maybe they have a spade that we don't have. He's going to re-raise, maybe. You get a call. Okay, so we didn't even have a spade in one the hand. Someone with a, a small spade as well would have folded. We have a straight here, but it's a very weak straight, and they only need a king to win this one. Um, this is a weird spot because even though we've got a straight, uh, we can find the fold button here. <laughs> the showed pocket twos, but rest assured there will be someone with the king there. Opened up with jack ten. To win that one and we could re-raise here we got to raise here just because the ace the ace two and people limped like i said I, there's going to be a couple of things that i'm going to add in as i get better the ace two to ace five suit are definitely going to add into my repertoire a little bit more and uh, originally i was folding those hands a bit more and you can play really tight. You can, like I said, you can play as tight as you want. The tighter you are, the less chips you're probably going to lose overall. Um, just a few matter of hands you're playing. Uh, we could call here, possible king comes out on the board. If you get re raised here, we're just folding it. We don't need. Ah, oh, beautiful. So now we can actually, there is a flush there, so we have to bet. Uh, we're going to re-raise quite substantial there. We definitely got the nuts, but we want someone to call, obviously. But uh, the board pairs, so we we'll check and then call. And yeah, that's ten eight. We can fold here. Uh, we'll call, but um, we don't like it. Yeah, the board paired up just made that hand ugly probably could have found the, the fold button but we did put bluffs in his range um another thing too is his bet sizing maybe gives a hint as well uh, 
Um, we're going to fold here pocket fives. Pocket nines will raise. Not in position, but hopefully get a nine. One seven chance. We haven't hit many sets lately, so it'll be due, but at the same time, I'm going to actually open up here on the button. All right, I'm going to bet this. We can easily have the ace here. No diamond on the board, but we could bet this. Um, we're just going to jam, and then at worst, he, at best, he folds. At worst, he calls, and we lose, but we can just get our stack back. <laughs> Split the pot. That was just total ass. And we actually had the best hand before the chop. So we we're actually, it was a good jam. And we could re-raise, but against under the gun, I don't want to. Under the gun, his ranges could uh, definitely be a little bit higher. Against these players, maybe not. Maybe we're being a little bit too careful, but... Are we zoom? You're better off just pigeonholing the position just to be a bit safer. It's when you're playing a full table, like in they're not the players, you're always consistently playing against the players, and you can start making reads against them, and then you can start thinking about making you know you know, using your blocker as you know, the ace is the blocker, less chance your opponent's got an ace. Um you could easily think about, you know, raising there and represent a really strong ace. But doing that stuff um, can put you in a little bit of a trouble. Ace Queen offsuit is not the best hand under the gun. It is good in a six wave though, like in a um, six table. All right, we get a re raise with queens or we'll raise with queens. Check here. Probably could have fold. Could have probably got an eight or a six. Ah, uh, oh, lucky there. I don't know why a king five, but we're in position there, so we can check behind. There's a lot of hands here. We could get the ten even if we're behind. Um, we get a call. We're on high alert. This board is so wet. Not the best turn card either. We're in position, so we can easily play this hand. He called. He does two hundred. Enough to get a uh, river. We're out of position here. I think we're just folding. Alright, so guess who's got the 10? Probably Cowboy. Let's get out of there. Um, even if we call, it can probably be his blast even with King. Under the gun, Ace Jack off suit. All right, we fast fold that one. That was our friend Romania again, I think it was. Open up with 810 suited from the cutoff, or the hijack, sorry. It's a nice pot. We've been uh, half beating all our range here. Um, there is diamonds on the board. It's one of those scary boards, but we continue the bet. Because we could have the best hand now, not not after the river. Uh, we could probably just check check here and win the hand. He wasn't he wasn't calling any bets there. Um, let's re raise nine ten. Let's get a bit frisky. We're in position. Check check and then get a jack hopefully. Would be really nice. Um, we could also represent a strong king here as well. So there we go. We use the power of position with nine turns suited, and you can widen your range. The more people that find the fold button, you can widen your range. When it's free pots, and you don't even have to have a good hand, but you just just need to know your spots. Just need to know the spots. Yeah, it just comes through practice. 
Uh, I say we're probably folding this one. We need to just make sure we don't get too reckless. After winning a good hand like, you know, the 910 suited, playing a hand like that, you've got to be aware that you could open the floodgates and start opening up and get reckless and get overconfident. So sometimes just getting back into your box is probably the best thing to do. Um, also, the, also, some people have timers. Like what they do is they'll look at the time and think they'll get more aggressive between this and that time. And then, you know, then what they'll do is cut down the time. Like after 15 minutes, 20 minutes, they'll um, stop being so aggressive and turn up again. Especially if the cards, like, you know, originally were starting to hit your favor, you open up. That's a dry board. We could check this. So now he thinks his king's good. Uh, now we can just call him down. Alright, see, so a lot of weaker hands here, just wicked and value. There you go. See, king, queen. And if he's right, if we actually, and now that we know we can read that hand a bit more, we could probably even raise that river. But once you start raising the river, you better be certain on the read. It's much harder. It's easier to re just read the hand on the opponents. Six, five, we've hit the six. Could actually win this hand. Um, Ace five, a small blind. We're just going to fold. We're out of position here. We'll be raising there quite easily, though. Players at the moment seem to be folding, so. I'm not going to like this 5 3 hand. I mean, it was funny, like. I was at the casino one time. I went down to twenty dollars, um, and then I started the banter at the table, and I was like shoving all in quite a bit. And I even told them it's their fault. They started something really bad, and I kept raising and re-raising, and you know, my stack was just getting bigger. And then I walked out with a few hundred, so and twenty dollars. So it was pretty funny. Uh, we could actually open up here. Oh yeah, we were just having a good time. And I was having a really good time because the cards were hitting. So when the cards are hitting for you, keep everyone in a good mood. People in a good mood will throw chips. People in a bad mood tighten up and tend to leave. If he calls, we get a call. Uh, we're still in position here. What's this call? Scary board for Queens, Jacks, and Tens, so we can bet here. We've got position. Um, hands like Ace Jack would have been a little bit tricky, so Ace Ten, Ace Jack, Ace Queen, all had us beat, but could easily find the fault there, just being scared. Our position. Um, I think we're going to jam against the small stacks. They're all small stacks, so I think we can get the best of it here. It's a nice board. Uh, that was a nice that was a nice game. They're all short stacks, so when you short stack, you're more likely to shovel in. Always pay attention to the stacks. The you know, the more of the stacks, the part of the range you probably should have. But more likely you know, willing to shovel in. That was a nice, uh, nice pot. And short stacks like that can represent bad players as well because a lot of good players will actually refill their stacks, which I haven't, I haven't done it on this play money. But if I was actually playing real money, I'd be um, refilling my stack each time just so when I do have a winning hand, I'll get max value for the hand. Get out of King 3 suited. Uh, 
Um, we'll open up King Jack suit. I haven't been doing that lately, but we'll see how we go. We get one caller. I haven't got position. Um, stacks are quite high here, especially with the 33,000. Um, we could jam all in here, which we're going to do. Bet half bet. Need a queen, I think, win this hand. Really need a queen. I think we're going to lose the King Jack. This is just filthy. We're just going to fold this one. Too many queens here. We have a straight. Uh, we did have just a coin flip there. Uh, the worst hand actually beat us. Pocket sevens did did all right there. Probably should have folded. We probably should have, you know, against against um, real money there. Those two played folded. Um, we're gonna raise here. We got nine eight suited in the button. We are getting a little bit frisky, so we gotta be careful. We got position. Let's, re let's um, raise it up a bit, representing the king. Ace is a scare card, we'll represent it without thinking. Um, he's called the turn, he's called the flop. Got something. Probably the turn. Alright, we got trips on a wet board. Not a flush draw though, but no flush draw. Now there's a flush draw, so we can just bet here. Um, we could bet a bit steeper here, actually. Uh, we we actually get the best card on the board. Now we have the best. Um, now we can actually just jam all in. Probably raised too much. We probably could have just doubled his bet. We got a little bit greedy. If we bet a little bit, we could trap him and then get into a re-raise, raise, and get into a re-raise type state. And then what happens is they feel obliged to call after so many moves. Um, 600, 600, let's call this. We got position, pocket fives. Hopefully we get a set. It's not a bad board for pocket fives. But I'm not probably going to call this. I'm going to fold. The three-way pot with a 10 on the board. All right, let's just see what they got. We'll fold out of that hand. <laughs> if three comes on the board, we cry, but I think we still played it pretty well. Queen Jack suited. Bad. Actually, it's not a bad board for pocket fives, but with two people in the hand, like three people in the hand, there's definitely a 10 out there. Or at least um, someone's probably paired. The eight's come out, but it's such a weird, weird board for the action pre-flop. But the 10 just hits that rank, the calling range so much. And we could probably call here in position. I didn't actually see what happened there, but Um, we could call here if it checks we bet and hopefully folds he could have a lot of ace king in his range a lot of better hands power position we love it we're going to check this one um we've lost this one i think we can't represent the ace anymore. he does though you know what I mean? Like, we did actually put him on an ace king. But I had a feeling if we bet there, he's definitely calling, so. And that's what I was doing previously, too, much a bit earlier in this video as well. I was sort of changing the story of our hands. 
which is putting it in a stupid bluff. Where there, we knew we couldn't bluff the ace because we were trying to represent something else. So, and we had a feeling he had the ace, so he wasn't going to fold. Unless he thought, you know, the only way he'd fold is if we jammed all in, representing the flush. I didn't feel like um, losing stacks though. Especially the 23,000. Probably good with the pocket fours, but with four way, no chance, I think. Hey, at the straight. All right, we bet here medium pair in the big blind. We'll probably even find the fold button here, but we could, or could just call. Oh, we probably should have just called the 100, but we could get value, get people out of their hand. Um, a lot of times with pocket tens, you could have the best hand here as well. That is a great board for pocket pair. So it is sharp. It's just the mind over matter thing, just rating it to a thousand. 800, they'll probably call, but a thousand, much different. And you just win an easy, easy hand that way. Old wing 10. Fold there, fold there. And we're in the small blinds, so small blinds you typically want to fold everything. Pretty much everything but premiums, just because you got the worst position in the hand. Sometimes you can, but you've got to be able to raise your, you've got to be able to raise your hand. If you can't raise the hand, you fold. 9-8 suited is not great, we'll get it off that. Alright, we can open up here, but don't have position, so we we really would just want diamonds at this stage. But the ace could have a bad ace. Let's just better hoping to get a fold. Put a bet there as well. So we got two pair with a queen kicker, and um, we can bet here. Could have a chop. So we want a nice little hand there with uh, ace, ace nine or ace six. I think. Under the gun with ace queen hearts, though we're betting for value here. Probably turn into a semi bluff type hand. Um, stacks are quite deep. This guy's folded, unfortunately. Could be losing here now, but we'll probably. Uh, we're actually going to fold this. Um, we could be calling and we're drawing dead. Our card didn't come out anyway. It was just a ripper card, so it's a lot harder to make the call. Yeah, it's a lot harder to make the call on the river, but on the turn you've got two more cards. So you, statistically speaking, you're able to make your hands a little bit more. That's why a lot of people actually... Uh, jam the flop um and then you can actually sometimes set up the jam the turn but you've got to have fold equity and we're going to re-raise here because the button opened up with a quite a wide range here he just limped in so we how range could it definitely beat him there so we re, uh so we raise or we bet queen 10 off uh we're going to open up here hopefully and um, we're going to open up here against the limper. He's a good hand for us. Maybe we can bet. Uh, he's resembling, uh, resembling that he's connected here somehow. So we fold our position. Jack comes out. I'm going to fold. The problem, we don't have any hearts though. And if we hit our ace, it could be not good. And just trying to get four car, four jacks on the board. <laughs> the jack comes out. Um, at best, we're probably chopping now. That's uh, sad. But uh, the, the the chances are of um, getting the jack was very slim, so we're not really upset here. Pocket aces looks pretty good. 
And a lot of those times when you could be up against another race, so what you're doing is you're just, you're betting the chop. It's different if the chop, you know, the chop, the person chopping with you could fold. Like the other hand previously, like a couple of hands ago. Um, we could bet this one. Pocket Kings might call. Clubs. We got the ace of clubs, so we could bet this. We could get the free, get the free river. We're in, definitely in position. To check. Okay, so we could call a bet here and be in front. If he bets and re-raises, we're definitely folding. But if he just bets and he folds, we could win the hand. I had the queen, but. We, we lost the minimum for a good hand. We had pocket control there. Check behind pocket twos. Like even pocket aces can be played in position properly. I mean, we didn't, we had pot control. We checked behind where we could have raised. You know, it was a way ahead, way behind scenario. You know, cards, many, many hands were folding there. I'm going to call here with pocket fives. We're not going to marry this hand. We're just going to probably check fold this hand now. It's only 100. I will call behind, see what happens. The only bet's 100. We're, it's only that to, to make the five. It's so cheap. Um, we're gonna check. We actually won the hand with pocket fives. I'm more surprised than you are. Uh, let's. He's trying to block bet us. You got the queen, and he's trying to trying to buy a cheaper draw. They're lucky we we bet the turn to get value. Oh, kings were pretty happy with crazy for sure. Pair will bet. Um, we're gonna raise here, like I said. Um, we're gonna we'll go all in with pocket kings. Board for uh, pocket kings, so happy to take the win. The other win as well. At least we're back up with the uh, the second table now. Uh, we'll fold ace nine two. Done. I mean, when I was playing poker tracker, when I had poker tracker on poker stars, you could actually see the statistics of what I like, got, what hands they played, but roughly what. Um, what, uh, how many hands they did play in position. So, it, you know, anything higher than say 35% was quite like fishy. Um, you know, somewhere between 25 and 35 was considered like a lag, you know, an okay, like an all right player, quite strong player would be like averaging between 80 and 25% in the op like opening. And then anyone below say 10% was like a nit. All right, so we can bet here and have the best hand. We could also pull a raise here as well. Best hand there, but we could have had the second best hand. All right, I'm gonna call for the 100, close the action. Hopefully clubs comes out. Not a bad board because it's a club at least, so hopefully get a club on the turn. But we can't make straights. Depending how cheap it is. Definitely could be some value here. So we'll... Alright, so we're, we're priced in if they bet low. 
and we're, we're not just getting um we're not just getting a bad hand turn okay we're getting we're getting possibly the nut flush um a lot of people could have king queen flushes so we could definitely get the money in uh, we're just going to check here and, and re-raise. Um, we're not going to re-raise too much here either. Um, so we're probably going to go... Probably... We're going to go 2,000 actually. And see what happens. Um, hopefully we get jammed on. So we've got value for that hand. Don't know how high we could have bet to get the value though. We didn't want with that many people in the hands. You're not gonna. It's less likely to get a fold, especially if you're just calling. You get people unaware. Um, I'm gonna fold. I was gonna thinking about raising, opening up there. With... In seven, fold that. Jimbo's with the emote. King Jack suited. It's a fun hand. But in the small blind, this is fold. The worst board you could think of for King Jack suited. Um, we could raise here. We've got trips. All queen wins. Um, we probably should have bet a bit more. Um, he could have a seven, he could have a queen. We can probably fold here. Um, we probably misplayed the hand because on the turn we could have bet. It's probably never folding though. But we lose the value, so for the amount of times he's going to miss his hand if he had the straight that he was trying to aim for, um, we miss the value of charging him for getting his hand safe. Kept him priced in for what he was doing. Alright, got pocket fours. Or hit, uh, we've hit fours. Uh, check 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 and whatever. we're just in the blinds here so don't want to get too carried away with the action that's back to that's one thing we were saying before you just don't want to get trapped in the especially in the blinds into hand um you can somewhat get the, these little hands and you know you, yeah, if you've got the jack or the queen and you've got a second best hand, quite tricky to play. Um, we could probably call, but we're gonna fold. Just be a bit disciplined. Yeah, just want to avoid opening up our range too much. So I just want to make sure we do those those tight folds. And someone who limps in generally probably doesn't like to. So when you get rid of the fold equity as well, it you you lose a lot of um, reasons to call make the call or make the bet. They call you down. You could have you'll have to beat them. But nine's beautiful. In position now, which is even better. And we've hit a, uh, we've hit the ball. This is awesome, especially if someone's got like an ace jack. Um, if someone bets in, this is even better. Uh, we're gonna half bet here. Hopefully, someone's got two, two hearts, a jack. There's a lot on this board. Fortunate. Sometimes it happens when you make the nuts. It was a wet board too, so a lot of people could have had Queen 10, Ace Jack. 
But sometimes it's just unfortunate people just don't make the head. We're gonna open up on the but uh on the cutoff. Uh we're gonna fold from the cutoff. Uh, under the gun, we can open up with Ace Five suited. Win the hand, nice. Ace Five, we're happy to win uh, pre flop. It's almost like a steal. Ace King, out of position, we have to raise here. No question about it. We're out of position, so we need to try and get heads up. Get some folds. If everyone calls, it's sort of great for us. We're out of position in no man's land with so many people in the hands. We're not going to get the folds if continuation bet here, so uh, we'll just check here. Um, we can easily find the fold button here. But because there's so many people in the hand, Continuating bet, continuation bet on the flop is just not worth it. So continuation bet, if you didn't know, is if you're, if you, the one that did the betting pre-flop and people called you, uh, continuation bet is the one you you lead out and you're, you're the one that uh, does the action bets um, on the flop as well. Okay, we can bet here with a strong ace, Jack. Also, it's suited. We could also call here as well. Keep a lot of uh, weak clubs in. We're also in position if he fo if Dillard falls. All right, so we bought we bought the position. That's a good board for us. Um, a lot of people have pitch cards here. We could easily win the board, uh, win the hands. If someone bets into us, then we've got to ask the question. Uh, we can continue H bet and probably take down this pot. Open ender on this hand. We missed the. We missed the board. If it was an ace, we could probably bluff it. Um, ace jack in position, that's perfect. Uh, and um, let's fold ace ten, uh, eight ten. Uh, call with sixes. We'll probably even raise there. Mix our range a bit more. Uh, we can check behind and get a free card. It was actually a good board to win pocket sixes, so I probably should have bet. But now that we missed the opportunity, we should not bet with the jack out there. Yeah, we actually win the hand anyway. Nice. Didn't think we'd win the hand, but probably if we played it better, put a re raise for sixes and then continuation bet and then everyone fold towards. Because it was, it was such a bad board. Uh, we're folding 6 4 suited from the small line. Um, we can bet here. So, in position betting. Uh, we're also folding now. Uh, he could be. He could be shoving in with those king, um, even the pairs. Like if we had like a hundred thousand and he was shoving five thousand, we might be able to make the call there. But um, we're gonna bet here and try and um, bet for value. Actually, it's not a bluff unless they got the jack. But if someone's got the seven, they could call. There's spades. Um, we're betting for value again. It's pretty thin. Flush gets there. And yeah, we, we actually bet for value and win the hand. A lot of people wouldn't have seen that as value, those bets, and it was a bluff, but 
Um, we were expecting sevens to cool down, and if we bet there on the river and he had a seven, he was folding. So that was another way behind, way ahead scenario where if we did a bet, um, he was probably going to fold unless he was he was better than us. Let's get out of that. Jack with a weak kicker. We can open up here in the cutoff. Okay, so we got position. Uh, we just win the hand, we steal the hand. It's not open up with ace queen off. I guess the knit. Actually, players, like I said, were very nitty. They wouldn't actually play ace queen off suit from under the gun. They only play the premium hands. We could bet here. Ace King will probably fold here. Um, yeah, also the fact that he could also have something else now. Um, this is the greedy bet on the turn. If they re-raise, they're usually better. Pull out the greedy bet. To let them know. Uh, bad players tend to do that. They do the greedy bet on the turn just to let you know that they want more money. So if you call the turn, you better be uh, confident about the hand. Or twos. Let's call maybe who knows. All right, we can bet. We're gonna bet four hundred. Act like we get the ace. Because yeah. we weren't representing anything, we didn't care for the hand, and then all of a sudden we did the the pot size bet, which seems to be the the special number to get everyone in. Um, 500 is pretty expensive here. Four-way pot unfolding. Let's um bet 550 for the twos. Bit of like Ace King. It is actually a better hand than Ace King, even though it doesn't seem it. Um, we're gonna fold here. Ace three offsuit. But this way we've got the initiative as well, and a lot of boards we could we could actually uh, hopefully it's three-way. There's a lot of boards we can continuation bet. Um, let's bet here. If they've got a nine, so bet. If they've got a jack, they're probably calling. Get a lot of folds though. And that's how you play for twos. And we can bet here. We've got over pair. He's trying to get a cheap card on us. Um, usually they do that. We ain't buying it. We're charging him. We fell for it once. Not again. Maybe it's re we get re-raised. Now we've got a set. He could have a straight. All right, we just bet again, hope for the best. If he had a set, he might have re-raised us and shoved. So it might have been a hand that we could have actually called. Um, it would be pretty tough though, pretty disgusting top hand to actually call there. Especially the fact that uh, yeah, there's a lot of better hands. There's not a lot of better hands, actually. We had top set, so there's not, nothing to sneeze at. There was the straight, though. Um, he's re raised from the blinds. Could have base. Could have better hands. We're in position here. Let's call. He's got ace king. He's betting in. Get out of his hand. Probably could have followed the pocket sixes pre flop. But I thought um, there's a chance that we could have got position there. Open up with Queen, Ace Queen. Um, a lot of straight chances here, so we're just going to fold out of this. We'll just watch the action as it unfolds. Wouldn't have been a bad turn card for us, but we're probably way behind. I'm not going to bet here. There could be flushes. We still have the better hands here. Flush did turn up. We've got the ace, which is a blocker. 
Uh, he doesn't seem to be scared of the flush. Probably fold here. So blockers do happen as well for flushes as well. So he could actually represent the ace high flush there because we know he doesn't have the best flush. But then you've got to really make sure that you've represented properly. In position 450, we probably could have um, bet a little bit lower. King on the board is just what we need. Just half bet this. Pretty dry board. Someone hits a king. No one hits. Fortunate. Probably well, we could have checked behind. And um, the spade, let's call. Cool. Uh, let's see if we can get anything, but no. We missed um we missed the straight. Could have actually bet the river there. I'm probably more upset I didn't fold. More upset about not folding that hand. Um, King Jack suited. Let's go. Sometimes we do fold it. There's uh, a bit more deeper stack as well. We can continuation bet here. Easy for people to miss the board here. They could have ace queen, ace jack, on the fold button. Now we have position as well. So we can bet here as well and it could be hard for him to call without a 10. Let's fold out of this. We could re-raise here, but three people in the hand. Maybe not get the best. That wasn't a good flop likely as well. Pocket three is beautiful. Let's just bet. See if we can get some value for these threes. He's all in, so we'll make the call, especially if the other guy folds. Uh, we got position as well. Um, we're just going to make the call. This guy could be jamming with it pretty much any two. Worst case scenario has happened, but we had we were priced in. It's hard to find the fold button there. It's just a coin flip. But we just didn't want to see pocket pairs there. We wanted to see something like... We wanted to see something like Ace King, which could have been uh, very easy in his range or any two cards. Ace Queen offsuit. Uh, Jack Nine off with folding. Um, we're going to open up with King Queen suited. We're going to raise with Ace Queen off. Got position in the hands. Never enough to make the hand. Um, we can actually go through here. A lot of hearts could come on the board for the turn. Turn our hand maybe into a bluff. Uh, we're going to continuation bit again. Uh, we've just missed everything. Even Ace wins the hand now. It's just embarrassing. Especially if they check check. Probably one more street of bluffing, but against two other players, there is that chance that we can't win the hand. Right with the bluff. Oh, very stubborn with the hand, so I was very surprised. Pocket threes, you'd think they would have folded. Oh, you can actually uh, create notes on players too. That'd be pretty cool. I remember used to doing that. Uh, let's just check behind. What a bad hand for Ace High. Could have the best hand here quite easily. Probably not now, but 
We didn't marry this hand. We, if we were into this hand, we would have bet. Oh, we're just going to fold out of this. Watch the hand there. Chances are someone's got a queen or a nine. Even pocket pairs. Any pocket pairs win that hand. So we dodged the bullet there. Yeah, the queen. Uh, the king, actually. King six, wow. Open up for a six. All right, we're going to call him position. Stacks a bit deeper. A lot of good turn cards here, so maybe getting trapped. Fold there. Too much for a jack. And we could check raise here. It is a spot. We'll bet 700. We've made the flush. Hopefully get a call. Flush. Ace four and we're just not gonna We're not really gonna be too excited about this, especially with the the flash. Probably win the hand now. I mean we we wanted twos as well. Uh, middle pair. All ten eight suited. Uh, mid pair. I think we're just gonna fold here. There's not much else. Uh, we're gonna raise here with kings in the small blind. Usually, want to raise a bit higher out of position because you don't want to go in a lot of way pot out of position. This and then get a board like this, so we check. Um, we get a re raise here. Oh man, um. Maybe he's trapping us. Let's just fold. Tight fold. We lost the hand. That was a tight fold, but we made the fold. And um, the other the other guy had a blocker as well on our hand, so um, we only had two like two aces or something like that to get the better hand. A lot of people would have probably called there and probably screamed down. With a scream how the hell do you make that fold? But weird. I'm more likely. To, I'm happy to actually call with a nine and ten suited hand in a body way pot than I am with an ace king off up hand. You get priced enough in, you can make any call, but it's just we just weren't priced in. Don't get me wrong, Oz. I really I wanted to make the call. Because Ace King is a great hand and it's when you're profitable here. It just wasn't, this didn't feel right, especially with um, someone calling and not afraid and then jam like jamming. He was just representing a uh, main hand already. I could add mid pair actually. I'll, I'll actually put him on like jacks or queens. We can call here, hopefully we get can... Need to win a big hand. We haven't won a big hand for a while. Open up. Pocket threes. Jack seven four. A bit dryish. And we're gonna make a bet. Get some folds hopefully, but 
would really have a really bad hand here. Um, we're probably gonna just gonna open up here and get calls. Right, hopefully the board pairs. Um, we're just folding here. There's no point. No point with that. It's pretty tragic. Um, he didn't bet the 10. It's only 400 though, so he's like desperate. He's like desperate there, but desperate for a call. It just seemed like he wanted a call. Some people do that size small ad, uh, that size uh, bet, because it doesn't cost much and people might hold like I did. Thing is, do we beat the bluffs? There's a lot of bluffs in his range that we don't beat. Like Miss Straits, maybe he's, you know, he's got already a higher pair than of Fives. He might not even realize he's bluffing his hand. 6-2, let's get a 4. 8-3 mid pair, let's just get out of this hand. Ace queen, nice. Yeah, six two is not winning anything. Let's bet. Um, let's raise. Hopefully the button holds when we get the position. We don't have position, which is great. We do hit top. Oh, we do hit an ace. Uh, we can bet here a lot of our aces. Get some folds. Of people who are chasing spades there's no straight draws here we could be having a lot of two pairs with ace king now so if he's got a queen jack so be it i don't even know what he had but i can't see us betting into that scary board if he bet there i don't know if i'm calling I probably am calling because there wasn't that much there on the there wasn't that much there to um I'm just calling you there wasn't that much that beat us like without having the nuts so there's a lot of bluffs in his range oh wow we lost the hand pocket aces um we can re-raise here we got top pair with a flush uh, with a straight draw. I'm going to play aggressive this hand. We missed the hand. He's obviously got the queen. If we hit the straight, we would have been laughing all the way to the bank. But fortunately, it's just not the case. But it's just very unfortunate out of the hand for... You know, we, we lost the coin flip with pocket aces. Right, we'll raise, we're in the cutoff. Ace queen, the small blinds. You gotta remember with queen, king queen offsuit, a lot of aces already beat us. Um, so we're gonna raise here with ace queen though. Oh, we can fold here. I don't know if he'd actually have, um, he, he knows, he probably knows we don't have the ace, but he probably thinks that he could beat everyone else's range. So I can get him a bit sloppy. Nice little hand though, we missed. And we're gonna bet the ace. Especially in position here. Hit the six, check, check. We're gonna use position, hopefully. Um, there's no using position. Oh, we're actually using position. He's probably hit the queen or the jack. Um, he's over betting as well. 
We don't have any hearts. If we had the Ace of Hearts, maybe we would call. Like big, big hearts. If we had some big hearts, then yeah, definitely. Um, against the Limper, we've got a raise here. Ace King offsuit raising. Hopefully the button folds and we get one call on. Oh, it'd be nice. Okay, we missed the board. We call for one straight. We call for one. What happens. Board pairs. Uh, we got a raise here. Represent aces or kings or queens, jacks, tens. Um, we're just definitely folding now. What the hell just happened to you in the other hand? Fire up. <sighs> Alright, that's cool. I don't want to call, but I'm calling. Pocket aces, let's go. Alright, let's fold, see what they, these Looney Tunes have got. Well, he got a straight. He re-raised, but he's got room to move. Uh, we're betting here. If he's got the nine, so be it. Ah, oh, fire out. All right, if he's got the nine, so be it. He hits the jack on the river. That's just sick. There's not much you can do there. We played the hand pretty good. We were priced in right to the very end. Um, we could have probably jammed. But yeah, it's just frustrating. You play the hand very well, and that can happen. Um, Jack's here. Probably could bet. Uh, actually, we'll check call. Open his bluffing range. He throw tissues at me. It's just lucky. It's not that scary. I mean, it just happens. But it was pretty sick hand. Main thing is we didn't get scared off the hand with pocket aces with the best hand. Alright, pocket aces, here we go. Being on a losing streak with pocket aces at the moment, but I would love the hand. It is the most profitable hand in poker. Oh, we can bet here with pocket kings. We're out of position. Uh, we don't have an, a heart, which is a concern. I want to charge all the draws there. We have the best hand here. The flush gets there. Uh, we're not scared of the flush anymore. Um, we can shovel in here. He has to have pocket jacks, pocket queens to be the best hand, or a three. Yeah, we sort of turned our hand, we made our hand look undisguised. We made our hand disguised. He didn't see aces there, which is nice. I have to call the sessions very soon. 
We did start the session really strong. I don't like shutting down the session on a bad note, but we still played quite solid. It just happens though. Some of these bigger pots just don't go your way. Uh, you don't want to get stuck and try and have to gain back your chips as well. Or you'll end up that's losing poker as well, and that's tilt. Um, but there was a famous saying, there was a saying that, you know, if you're winning, you look better than what you are, but when you're losing, you look worse than what you are. And it goes for the same thing as, uh, also with Swift Raises, it also goes to the fact that, you know, you feel like you're worse than what you are when you're losing. But there's some parts of your game that never go away, and there's some parts of your game where stays. Uh, we, we get the flush, so we're better than this. Starting. Um... Four pairs were upset. Uh, only the ace wins here, so we can bet this. He gets the jack. I think a jack or a ten of spades calls there, so we can make the bet. Pocket twos. Um, good board for pocket twos, actually, especially if we've got picture cards we're up against. Even better now, we've hit trips. We've hit a set, sorry. Bet the uh, ace. We raise, we, we call. That's a shame. Um, we're sort of priced out here, I think. And we're going to fold. We'll be calling with a worst hand there. Needed a lot of help to get the best hand. It was a pretty tight fold. Okay, we raise with pocket eights. Um, we can we can bet the pocket eights here. Um, seven five. Definitely not good for our opponent. Um, he knows King's in our range. He's betting here. Um, let's just watch the... We'll fold that. Because I think he's not afraid of our range. So he could be just betting. With maybe pocket... Uh, with clubs. But these guys called too. So these guys may have something. And against the multi-way pot, it's just not worth risking it there. Someone has bound to got the King. Someone's chasing a straight, someone's chasing the flush. Yeah, you'll have a top pair, someone's hit something. There you go. So, see, he was chasing the flush, and the other guy had top pair. So, we we're all dead in the water. Either way, we weren't winning unless we had runner runner, get a set, and uh, get a book, and that was not going to be the case. Okay, we didn't represent the A's pre, pre flop, so we fold out of that. Um, we could probably re-race here. We're in position. That off could be uh, quite low here. Could have just folded as well, but see what happens. We got position. If he had a strong ace, he might have re-raised re us pre-flop. But this also led to believe that he could have queen jack as well. This is fold. Um, this would have been a really nice, <laughs> nice card for us because now we're chasing the flush. But we'd have to pay full price to get there. It's not full price to get there. We have a weaker flush as well. Okay, we're gonna open up Ace Queen off. We're gonna bet with Ace Two suited. Well, people are just happy to call. Um, we got a bet. We got a pair of twos. Many people wouldn't hit this board, I don't think. Um, we could have the best hand. They could be chasing flushes. 
Okay, so this guy has probably got an over pair or at least top pair. So we can fold. Probably two is there, no good. We close the action. We probably could call here. Under the gun. Got an open ender here. Not a bad board for 6 4, but we could be uh, trailing a lot of hands here. Under the gun range, we're just not going to raise under the gun. Let's call, hopefully, get a heart. We got a heart. This is a live, really live board for us here. Um, let's bet the king. Good call. <laughs> Ace nine, wow, what a call. Uh, so we're folding pocket tens. Things went pretty well there. Sometimes there's a spot where you can shove with pocket tens, but that it gives it under the gun range really. Unless, of course, like you're in a tournament, sometimes when ranges open up during the later stages of a tournament, then you can start shoving those medium pairs. But especially on a cash table, you don't want to. Do okay, we got to bet this. Heads up. Nice hand for us. Could be just up against like an ace queen, ace jack. Doesn't want to let go of his top pair. So maybe he had pocket queens, maybe he had like second best hand there. Definitely had a second best hand, but maybe he just had a weak pair or something. Do we call? We don't close the action, so we fold. Maybe a pair of fives, but it's probably no good. Yeah, what a mega hand that was. I will open up with a full suited. We could better arrange to just win the, the pot with a continuation bet here. We get an ace. Not a strong ace we have, but he doesn't know that. So we can re-raise and defend against the flushes. Check, check. He's probably got a strong ace. Um, let's just call and see what he's got. He just had the flush. And straight. <laughs> All right, nice. We can re-raise here. We've got the nut flush draw coming in. Get an open ender so we can charge with a flush draw. Uh, we don't have to make the hand to get uh, win the hand there. And if we do make the hand, we can often get. Um, we can also jam on the river. behind all right we've got the nuts all right we well, get a raise because everyone's excited about this hand any four three beats us at this stage okay get stacks in that's all we want Game, beautiful. And that's what you really want. When you make the nut flush, you just want stacks in. 
Doesn't matter how you get it in. As long as you got the stacks in, it's game over. Nice board for pocket sevens. We'll lead into that. Okay, it's cool. Oh, that's cool. Get a six here. Making us really pay. Makes me think he's got overs. Sometimes they do try and just, um, what do you call it? Bully you. But that's the good thing because the good thing is they start to bully you and then they'll, they've got a small margin of error. Because we know how many times we have a really strong hand. They could be um, bullying us just at the wrong time. Falling into one of our traps. Pot eights is always nice in position. Good hand. It's a dry board. We can bet here and get plenty of holds, and that's we're happy with that. Just those small little pots for those um, medium to small pocket pair. It's the win. Especially when you don't set mine. I mean, when you set mine, you don't want those folds, obviously. So, no pocket raise. Um, we could probably raise here. We could call behind. Um, let's just raise here. We're in position here. We've got a blocker. Let's, um, more balls in Kino here. Uh, Queen 10 hits his range a bit. Um, this is a bit telling. He's betting into the ace. We re raised him pre flop. Means he's not scared. Look at threes. We could win with the, the heart here. He really doesn't want a heart. But we're going to fold. It's quite expensive. We're going to fold both hands. Maybe you call with pocket threes with a heart. Um, win the heart, you win. But if he's got a bigger heart than three, which is possible as well, he could definitely lose the hand. Win a small hand. Uh, win a win a, a lose a big pot. Win a small pot. That's that's the way I see it. We could check race here actually, because he could have flush draws in doing this. Great draws. His flush gets there. So we got value for him chasing a straight there. Or at least two, having two pairs. Because you want to make the bet when the board's not scary, where they make the call when they're behind. Because sometimes the, just that scary board, will, that scary card comes down the river or turn and just down the action. Call behind, set my own pocket sixes. In ten, could have maybe opened, but but not. Uh, we're in position. We're gonna call, especially with the ace on the board. If he's got like ace king, he's gonna call bets as well. If he checks, it does put us in a little bind here. Will be luring us. Um, we're gonna fold here, but. If you check there, we could possibly have bet. But it's probably not an action. No, I don't think we could really bet there and bet the ace. Because I think pocket kings and pocket queens and all that should call. Because we didn't raise pre flop, so it's, it's telling the story as, you know, they shouldn't be scared of our hands. Check 10 out of position. All right, we'll call just because of the fact that we can get some nut flushes. If everyone calls, then uh, we can definitely get. Oh, this is this is the best. Because we can get people with weaker flushes to put their stacks in as well.
Um, let's bet just to get the stack. This, so if we make the hand, we can get we can get our price. Alright, perfect. We'll just half bet this. Don't look at too excited about it. We've got a nut hand, so we've got the best hand here. It's gonna look like we're trying to get the other guy to fold. Is he gonna re raise us? This is the reason? No. Uh, I thought he's gonna re raise there. Be nice. No one else had really a made hand there. They must have just had pairs. And um, we can bet here with Ace Jack off suit, especially on the button in position. Someone calls out of position. Didn't raise, so probably means they don't have King Ace. Ace King. Um, we could bet here and get a lot of people off their hands. And that's this position. That's this position. Kings, let's go. Three bet. Um, this is not a great hand. So we're gonna, gonna fold this top pair, weak kicker. This is such a wet board as well. They could make flushes straight. Um, better kickers. It, there's just too much going on, especially for other players. Yeah, a picture of a dog with a tongue stick. Okay, we're folding Queen 9, jamming all in on the button. It's one of those things where it just looks stupid. Like, they've either got absolute trash or they're only going to get called by better hands or if they do have the best hand, they're just losing value. It's like they're getting everyone to fold a hand with aces and it's just not worth it. And um, we could bet here with 900. Do a face queen. King queen definitely hits our range. And we're gonna bet 15, 1600 out of position. And we're gonna continuation bet here, hopefully get some folds. Um, we can just jam all in. So, if he gets the flush, that's just... But we could just jam pretty much everything there, especially pre-flop against the short stacker. He almost got runner on a flush, and the way we've been running, it wouldn't have surprised me, but we still should play optimal. You don't get scared. You can tighten up a little bit. But don't get scared when you've got good hands. And if you made it this far in the video, um, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Hopefully, um, I know I know a couple of people have actually liked the videos. So far, so that means some people are getting something out of it. That, that. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here and hopefully we enjoyed it. Remember to like, okay, and I'll catch you another time. Bye, guys. Get a fold. Fold 20 bit. Okay. Bye, guys.